Hey friends, just wanted to quickly share with you what I received in my secret place this morning. And it was a very interesting vision about people standing in a line that were in chains and shackles and basically looked like they were in a prison. They looked extremely exhausted and it looked like they were ready for some type of judgment. Like they were all standing in line waiting for something to happen. And what's interesting is the Holy Spirit then took me to the book of Jude in verse 6 it says and the angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their own abode he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day and what's interesting is the holy spirit said this was not meant for human beings and those human beings being in chains waiting for judgment is not something that God wanted for themselves. No, absolutely not, because in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, the word says um, that we are being blessed by the Lord as humans, as rulers, as managers of the of his creation. And we are to um, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, and most importantly, have dominion. So we are made to rule and not be ruled. And one of the scriptures that first came to mind that when you told me about your experience was um, Deuteronomy 5, 6. It says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And many believers, uh, just like the Israelites, they have been freed. Christ has freed us from the curse of the law. But many of us have fought back to put ourselves under laws, rules, regulations, and traditions. So you can you can be free from bondage, but still have a slave mentality. And that's the trick, trap, plot, plan of the enemy, who's only designed to steal, kill, and destroy our freedom once we get it. I mean, remember the Israelites in the wilderness, they craved Egypt. They craved the past. And some of you out there may be struggling in your faith. You may be struggling in your walk with the Lord. And you're saying, you know what? When I served the world, it was better. Maybe I want to go back to those things because it's a human condition to want what you, you've had over what you can have. But it takes faith to wait on the Lord and what he can do for you and what he can provide for you. So I think we've all struggled in that situation to where we're wondering if God is going to come through for us. And we live in some type of mental bondage and slavery, even though we've been freed through Christ and all his promises are available to us. It's that waiting period that I think that causes most of us to, to struggle. Okay. So what do you think I should do today to maybe even reveal these bondages that I'm not even aware of? Well, well that's what a great... Do I what do I do there? That's a great question. And first of all, we have to ask the Lord to search our hearts. Um, the Holy Spirit is the one who's given to us to guide us into all truth, shows all things to come. So if you get truthful with the spirit of truth, they always reveal the truth. Show the things in my heart, Lord, that are causing bondages in, in my life, that, are, that I'm enslaved to, things that take precedence in my life more than you do. Help cleanse my heart. Help deliver me from those things, Lord. What am I craving for my past that I, that I haven't been able to see that you've given me more than enough for now and in the future? Where in your word, Lord, Holy Spirit, lead me and guide me to replace those empty spots in my heart and my soul that I'm craving for the old with your beautiful, wonderful new. And he promises to make all things new. We just have to put our faith and trust in him, use our relationship and fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and he will reveal all things to it's beautiful. Do you think those chains could have been idols that we've placed in our heart that are just driving us down? People, places, and things. There's all types of things that just because you get saved, you're free um, spiritually, and you're no longer at war with God, you have peace. Our souls didn't get saved. And we have to transform our minds through the renewal of our minds so our souls can still be enslaved through the our past experiences, through our old lifestyle, old addictions, old sins that are going to continue to try to harm and chase us and, and trap us and take us down. So we have to constantly be refreshed by the water of the word, speak with the Lord, speak with the Holy Spirit, and use the power of our confession to set us free. Wow, that's huge. Well, we hope that this has blessed you. If you have more questions about that, let us know. Be blessed.